Charleston council member will have to find a new place to live. This comes after the North Charleston sewer district unanimously voted to terminate a contract from 2012 that allowed her and her husband to live on the sewer district's property in exchange for security. Our Melanie McBride attended that meeting and brings us all the details. Councilwoman Rhonda Jerome tells me she and her husband have lived on the city's sewer district's property free of charge since 1989. She says she's wondering why it's been fine for 20 years, but now it's an issue. I don't get mad, I get even. I'm running for mayor, and I'm sure that plays a lot into this, but they're not going to break me, and they're not going to get rid of me. Jerome says she and her husband live in a double wide on North Charleston sewer district owned property for free with the sewer district also paying for their electricity and water. In exchange, Jerome says she and her husband provide security on the property. She tells me her husband walks the property every day, checking up on buildings and equipment. Found out from the news media that this was on the agenda tonight. Nobody called us from the sewer district or the commission. Last night, the North Charleston sewer district voted unanimously to terminate their written contract with Jerome, which allows her and her husband to live on the property for free in exchange for security. There was no discussion among the commission at yesterday's meeting regarding the contract. Jared Jones, the executive director of North Charleston sewer district, did not want to speak on camera. But he did tell me the commission discussed terminating Jerome's contract during an executive session. He said he could not comment on the reasoning for the termination because he wasn't there, but was not aware of any outside influence. We also reached out to the city of North Charleston for a comment which reads, the North Charleston sewer district is independent of the city, just like the North Charleston Housing Authority. Regardless, as Mr. Jones says, the mayor had no input on the issue. I reached out to the members of the North Charleston Sewer District Commission to hear their reasoning behind the termination and have not heard back yet. But of course, we'll keep you updated as soon as we hear from them. Reporting in North Charleston, Molly McBride, Live 5 News.